Hey everybody, welcome to another Unity 2D tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on uh, the 2D transform rotation. In previous episodes, which I'll link above, we focused on adjusting the position and the scale. In order to demonstrate um, transform rotation properly, I'm going to go into our rigid body and turn it into kinematic. That way the physics aren't affecting our game object. Next, we're going to add a new script. We're going to call it change rotation, new script, and create. Now, what this script is going to allow us to do, we're going to write code to change the rotation of the game object at runtime. We're going to make it rotate around itself, and then we're going to have it rotate around another game object. What we're doing here is we're publicly creating a vector three that way we can change it in the inspector. When we start the game, our game object's Euler angles, which is the, uh, the representation of the rotation in world space. It is our X, our Y, and our Z rotation. And we're physically setting those to our start rotation at start. So let's save, go back into Unity, since this is a 2D game, we, we are kind of limited with what we can um, adjust. So like our X rotation, if we change our X rotation, this is what happens. It's flipping around in that direction. Now, if we change our Y rotation, it does the same thing on the Y. So it, it kind of looks, kind of looks a little weird. And you could do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But what the, the rotation that we're going to worry about is our Z. It rotates it around on the Z axis like that. So what we want to do is our start rotation will be 0 on the X, 0 on the Y, and 45 on the Z. Now when I hit play, the game object will shift to 45 on the Z. And that's how you change rotation at start time. All right, runtime, sorry. How do we get it to rotate around itself constantly or at a certain point in the game? So let's go back into our script. When we push the Q button, our game objects transform will rotate around the Y axis at 10 times time dot delta time, which is one time per second. But we don't want to hard code our variables in here like this. So we're going to create a, another public variable. So we're going to call it public int, call it speed, oh, lowercase, speed. And then we're just going to put speed in here. And we can set it to whatever we want in the inspector. Save it. Let's go back into Unity, and we're going to change our speed to 50. Hit start. And now when I push the Q button, our game object will rotate constantly. So the next thing I want to do is have our player orbit around another game object, kind of like how our moon orbits around Earth. So let's go back into Unity quick, and let's create another 2D sprite. Call this circle. And we're going to bring in this circle that I created. Zero out the transform, and let's give it a Y of 3. And let's give it red, why not? And that's all we need to do there. We're going to go back into our script. In order to get our game object to circle or rotate around another game object, we first needed to create a reference to that object that we're going to rotate around. So public game object circle. And then in our update function, I added an if. When the user pushes down and holds down the E key, this will happen. It says transform dot rotate around because we're rotating around an object. The objects transform are in which direction are we rotating? So in this case, forward. And then by how fast are we doing it? So it's speed times time dot delta time. So let's save it. 
and go back into Unity. Before we can hit play and test our script, we need to set our circle variable. So go to player and click and drag our circle into our game object slot here. Now when we hit play, um, the game, the player object will rotate on its Z. If we hold Q down, you'll rotate around its Z axis constantly. And if we hit E, it'll rotate around the circle constantly. And that's how you rotate your player object around itself, around another object, and, wrote, and adjust its rotation at the very beginning of the game. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it um, or if you learned something, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And uh, if you have any suggestions or feedback, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you uh, have any ideas of what other tutorials I could do, also please let me know in the tutorial section below. And uh, have a good one. Thanks.